Harry Kane's transfer comments as Tottenham star fails to show up for training. Harry Kane has failed to show up for Tottenham training today. Both Sky Sports and Fabrizio Romano claim the England international was due back, but, believing he has a gentleman's agreement in place over a possible exit, has now delivered a snub instead. So Express Sport will now take a look at what the 27-year-old has said about his future amid links to Manchester City, Manchester United and Chelsea. Speaking before Euro 2020 started, Kane revealed he didn't take transfer talk to heart and focus on the gossip and rumors too much. It's been okay. I'm sure I'll get asked about it a lot, but my most important thing is trying to win a major tournament with England, he said. The rest of the stuff will happen obviously when I get back from the tournament, but for now that's all I'm focused on. I'm not someone who listens to the noise anyway, whether it's good or bad to be honest. I try to never get too high or too low. I'm here to give everything for my country. Think you know sport? Test your sporting knowledge with our tricky quiz in May. In an interview with Gary Neville, Kane admitted Daniel Levy may want to sell him in order to secure a big fee. As players, you don't know what the chairman's thinking, he said. I mean he might want to sell me. He might be thinking, if I can get £100 million for you, then why not? You know what I mean. I'm not going to be worth that for the next two or three years. I hope, I mean, we have a good enough relationship. I've given the club, well, I've been there 16 years of my life. So I hope we can have a good honest conversation and see where we're at in that aspect. Don't miss Man United set Kane price by Tottenham chief Levy convinced Barcelona's strong eye with Ronaldo and two other signings Arsenal's amazing squad. If Edu seals six more deals in the same interview, Kane also insisted now would be the right time for him to talk to Tottenham about his future. I think it's definitely a conversation to be had with the club, he said. I want to be playing in the biggest games, the biggest moments. This season I'm watching the Champions League, the English teams in there doing amazing, and they are the games I want to be involved in. So for sure it's a moment in my career where I have to reflect and see where I'm at and have a good honest conversation with the chairman. I hope we can have that conversation. I'm sure he'll want to set out the plan of where he sees it. But ultimately it's going to be down to me and how I feel and what's going to be the best for me in my career at this moment in time. Do you want an exclusive pre-season preview for your club, both in your inbox and through your letterbox? Head over here to find out more and secure your copy. Kane also admitted he didn't want to have any regrets when he hangs up his boots at the end of his career. The Tottenham talisman said, I don't want to come to the end of my career and have any regrets, so I want to be the best I can be. I'm at that stage where you could say people might look at it as though he's desperate for trophies, he needs trophies. I still feel like I've got almost another career to play. I've got seven, eight years, kind of what I've had so far in the Premier League. I've still got so much more to give. I'm not afraid to say I want to be the best. I'm not afraid to say I want to try and get on the level that Ronaldo and Messi got to. That's my ultimate goal, to be winning trophies season in, season out, scoring 50, 60, 70 goals, season in, season out. Speaking last month, Tottenham Supremo Levy was coy when quizzed on Kane's situation. Look, I am never going to talk about any specific player in public, said the Tottenham chairman.